Hey man, my name is Craig Zies. I'm a pastor out in Oregon and I've been asked to share a little bit of a testimony about God has been working in our midst as we have been on the journey of discipling men. After 15 years of ministry and picking up the pieces of broken families with kids, I decided that I was going to tackle the front end of that and work with marriages and men that were abandoning their kids in droves in order to prevent the next generation from experiencing the same thing. Come to find out after uh, eight or ten years of working with marriages that uh, we ended up with the same net result, providing tools for marriages, great classes, great retreats, lots of fun, but folks that didn't have an understanding and ability to hang on to the tools and use them in the way that they were intended. Realize that much like a fishing rod uh, that you hand somebody for the first time and they take a spinning rod and holding it upside down uh, and trying to fish with it. We were giving tools to people that they didn't know how to use. So after much prayer, uh, we shut things down and waited for the right time. Out of that, on the spring day, seven men and their boys sat around a campfire. We asked the question, men, how are we going to disciple the next generation of young guys in our church so that they don't repeat the past? Seven years later, more than half of our men are plugged in into the life of our church. Guys have stepped up that were not involved at all and are plugged into the life of our church. Men that have been involved are stepping into leadership positions. We have more men involved in our children's ministry on Sunday morning than women. And we've got guys that are ready to step into the next level of leadership in the life of our church. As we have intentionally let go of events and taken on the role of discipleship in the lives of men. Has it been hard? Yeah, it has been. Some of the most difficult work that I have done in ministry. Has it been rewarding? Best thing I have ever done in my life. So may I encourage you, grab hold of the tools that Man in the Mirror has to provide for you. Invest in the lives of men in the process of discipleship and let yourselves and your church see the net results. Thanks so much for listening. God bless. Have a great day.